It's not very often that happens. In fact, I don't think I've done that in a, in a match before. I love this little bit. Beautiful. That's the fairway, guys. Look at it. Get in. Oh, you. So, spirits are high, positive. Sit down. Yeah! <laughs> yes! This is saying it's 318 meters. I'm still gonna hit drive. I'm gonna hug the left hand side and hopefully stay on the fairway. Perfect. Go, go. So I'm walking down the fairway. I'm just hoping my ball is not in this fairway bunker. Please be my ball on the other side. Oh yes, it did. <laughs> yup. It would have been better if it was in the fairway, but hey look, now it's being greedy. Greens at the back, flags there. 101 yards, I'm gonna try and get my 54 on there. It started to rain again, great. That was a very good shot. Uh, I can't work out if it's left or right. I think it's pretty straight. This would be an incredible back-to-back -back birdies if I managed to do that. Trust the line. Oh, I hit it too much. Oh, Mike! All right. I've got a bit of a tester. It's pretty straight. Come on, I need for par. Trust the line. Yes. All right, good par. On to the next one. I got really excited when I saw this place because it looks beautiful. Look at it. Picturesque in the woods. But unfortunately, it's closed. I don't really blame them. It's still a bit of a cold spring. It's been a long winter, so I can't imagine that they're gonna stay open because A, it's not gonna be busy, and B, well, the same as A. <laughs> Here it is, hole 11, 159 meters, which is 165 or 164 yards. Such a great touch for golf courses. It kind of cost that much, but they put together this pretty awesome booklet that shows you the whole course and all the information you need. I was gonna play an eight iron, but I'm not too sure. I think I might play gentle seven. It is a bit up the hill. Oh no, I think Oh, that's so terrible. Yeah, walking up to it. I mean, it's a stunning hole. Absolutely stunning. These greenside bunkers look awesome. Just a bit of an annoying place to leave my ball. But then again, hey, look, I could be in worse places. So um, I'm kind of happy with the outcome. Less of two evils, I guess. Do I chip? Do I putt? Green slopes. Slightly right to left slope. Hmm. Your worst putt, as they say, is a lot better. Oh, I don't even know what the saying is, but anyway, I'm gonna putt this. Oh, I should have given a bit more. Ugh. I think it's straight. Or oh, right edge, which is how I have it. Get in. Oh, you. That sucks. Okay, bogey. Yeah, these yellow tees are back for sure. 365 meters, par four. It started pouring down again. I think I'm gonna find somewhere to just kind of let this blow over because it's clear over there. So probably gonna wait five minutes, it should be fine. Oh, that's bad. Not a very good t-shirt, in fact. Yeah, not very happy with it. Such a picturesque hole. You kind of want to do it a bit more justice, didn't you? But that's all right. 
probably, yep, it's where the halfway house is. So my ball crossed around here somewhere. There we go. Right, so it's probably a bit further than I thought, actually. Quite happy with that. Okay, watch tells me I'm 126, seven yards to the middle of the green, but the pin looks at the front. I'm still gonna get a pitching wedge out and hack it out of here. Lies not too bad. Should we get good contact with that, actually? A good hit on this should be good. Oh, it's left. Other side of the bunker. My aim, it's just so bad. Get in the comments and let me know. Was I aiming where my ball went? Because I'm hitting the ball straight. It's literally straight. It's not like I'm hooking or slicing or overdrawing, but I generally felt that I was aiming towards the flag with my feet. But the ball is 20 yards left of it. And that's not what I plan to do. Ah. Okay. Oof. T shot went on a left side bunker and it was heading towards the trees, but I hit it hard and it had no spin. So it wasn't a hook, it was just. Again, my alignment pushed the ball left. I don't get it, ugh. Next shot in, 154 yards out. I'm in a bit of rough, so I'm gonna go for a nine iron. I've got a bit of tree trouble. It is gonna go high. Let me get this away. I might just aim for those bunkers on the left there. If I go on the green, I'm lucky. That'll do. Not bad, but not fantastic either, which is the motto of my game. 60 degree, out of rough, is probably my favorite club. The lie is, okay, I'll get underneath it. Green is covered in all that, the white leaves. Sit. Okay, that's good. That'll do. Yeah, I went a little bit long, but um, I'm putting, so a par is possible. Uh, left to right, slightly uphill. That's the line I'm going for. That's a good line. Mm, yeah. Don't leave it short, Mike. Don't leave it short. Don't leave it short. Idiot. Such a... Uh, God, I frustrate myself so much sometimes. Seriously. Hole number 14, I turn to my little booklet. I absolutely love this thing. 325 meters, um, which is 350 odd yards. Clearing the bunker on the left, 181. Ooh. I see a ball on the right side, just there. That's not bad. All right, tree's all in my way. What am I gonna do? I've got a pitching wedge. I should really punch out, shouldn't I? I'm gonna do that. Seven nine, punch out, because I need to go under this. It's gonna be very, very difficult, but let's just try and see if I can make something happen. Oh, I think I'm on a fairway. I hope I am anyway. After all that, I bloody hope so. Oh, it's a beautiful course. Look at that. So you literally go over this hill, hence why the sign's up there to give you direction. Just stunning. 75 yards, slightly uphill. Into wind. I'd have to hit it quite hard actually because I can get a little spin on it, I think. But the pins at the front, there's no wind up there. So let's see. Oh, it's good. Get on there. Oh, it's really good, it's rolling on. Let's see how close I am. Gonna let the guys know that we're all good. 
Nice little hat for it. Isn't that cute? Let's see. We were looking about 25 feet. 60 was a bit short, I guess. I probably should have gone up a club, but hey. It's slightly downhill. Ah, oh. That's okay. I know that's straight. Okay. Got a line. Get me in there. Oh. Oh. Why do I leave those short? I hate, hate, hate that I leave those putts short. Just frustrates the hell out of me. Next hole. It's another beaut of a hole. 459 meters, which is 400, 505 yards, I think, somewhere around there. Left side, has to be the left side, over that bunker on the left. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Couldn't have hit any better. Oof. I actually nuked that. I really hit that really well. That's that bunker on the left. Yeah, it went over there. Should be up here. Moment of truth. Up the hill. Ah. Peach. Perfect. Still some distance, but fairway gives you a lot more hope to get it good. All right, let's get stuck into this. Haven't hit my three wood yet. And um, let me put this out of the way. And the distance is 235. Do I want to go be short of the bunkers or do I want to go? No, I'm going to go down that channel and I'm going to get it on the green. Oh, it's good. It's turning right though. Okay, well I absolutely hit that. It's gone a bit too far and it's gone right. Hmm, could be a bit of trouble in paradise. Okay, well the green's here and I went right, so I should be in here somewhere. Um, whew, wish me luck in the woods. And oh, this, is this is exactly an amateur mindset. I could have easily, easily played a hybrid hit it I can hit my hybrid 220 meters so 220 yards I could have easily done that but I went for glory because I was in the fairway and I felt like because I was in the fairway I deserve to be hitting a longer club stupid oh my god such a twat here we go no wonder I can see it there's a leaf in the way okay we're here catch it on the top of that bank and let's like let it roll down Roll, 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 roll. Happy with that. Okay. Trust the line. I'm gonna put it. I've just done the same thing again, haven't I? So, next hole. It's elevated. I've got a seven iron in the bag. It's a bit downhill. I've also got an eight. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'll let you know in the video. There. Oh, I think I'm in. But I think I'm in the sand. I didn't see a bounce. And it was just, I might have just caught the lip of the bunker as well. Oh, that's frustrating. Should have gone for seven, but seven would have just flown over. Oh, but then that means I would have had to have taken a bit off the seven. Look, amateur golfers, not many can hit 70% shots or 80% shots. I still can't do it. And when I do do it, it's one out of 10. So based on that, I think the right decision was made. I'm in a, oh, am I in a bunker or? I can't see a ball. Please be on the green, please. There's no ball in the bunker. So if I'm not in a bunker, where the hell am I then? Wait, what? Where the frick? Did my ball go? It's not plugged, is it? Please don't be plugged. Fried egg style. Oh, mate. Okay. <laughs> Look at it. 
Well, where do I put it? I, I guess I'll go behind the green, don't I? The size of that hole. I'm going behind the green. There's no way I was playing that. So I'm running to get my club because I think the group behind me are playing quite well. From where it is, the plug's there. I was plugged in here. So I think somewhere like here will be fine. There. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. All right. Cool, about three more yards and I would have been ideal with that shot. Anyway, let's not think about that. Let's move on. Land it two meters short. It will roll on. It was just awful. Got underneath it so much. Gosh, these par threes today. I don't think I've done well in any of them. Oh, it's breaking left a lot. So we've got a swinger. I'm aiming about two meters to the left of the green. Downhill, slider. That's good, stop. That's a bit too much. Uphill, right edge. Three putt, lovely. Just like I liked it. 446 yards, 191 to the bend. That suits my fade drive a lot. I'm gonna go for that. So yeah, first I took out the driver. Then I realized, no, I'm not gonna take out the driver. I'm gonna take my six iron out and I'm gonna hit that instead because I'm gonna try and keep my score a bit lower than this. I had a couple of pars, a couple of birdies, things are looking good, but then some doubles, which is just gross. Classic Germany. On the 17th hole, I've been filming the whole course, and then I get a guy asking me if I'm allowed to film here. No, I just decided to do it by myself. Fair enough, it's a, it's a golf course that people pay membership fees and so on, and probably like things to be a certain way, so I understand. But hey, I nuked my six iron. It bounced next to the tree. I mean, it would've been good if it went about five yards to the right. Unobstructed view. The flag is back there. We're good. We're good people. All right, 276. I've got my three wood. Um, yeah, that should be okay, shouldn't it? Three wood. Uh, the bunkers are my line. Oh, it went through. It went through. You all saw that, we're good. Usually I've got loads of questions and things to say, but and interact a bit better rather than just you see my shots and blah, blah, blah. But I feel like whenever it's a new golf course, I've just got too much to think about as a, as a vlogger. So I'm just, my mind is literally, okay, new course, camera, angles, where the bunkers? Where's the trap? Where's the OB? What are people saying? Am I behind? Am I in front? Am I too fast? Am I too slow? Am I doing something I shouldn't be doing with my buggy? Or, you know, all those things. So I'm sorry that this isn't so interactive, but I hope you're enjoying it nonetheless. My golf is getting better, I'm striking it better. I'm just not using my brain any better. And that's a problem. After a bit of searching, that's a tree that I clipped. I thought I'd much further than that, but anyway, I'm literally in line with the OB stakes. Yeah, well, maybe about two inches out, but hey, look, YouTube golf, chill out. I have got no swing onto this. In fact, none at all. So this is gonna be quite interesting. I'm gonna chip out. Oh, beautiful. Very happy with that. 67 yards. Still got my 54. I don't want to go back to the bag because the people behind are there. So, sit down, sit down. Very, very happy with that shot. Okay, putting.
Oh, it's okay. I'll take bogey in that. It's not too bad. What is your opinion on this? Because it drives me nuts. People automatically assume that because you've got a camera, it's gonna take you much longer to finish the hole. Well, no, actually, it's not. If I didn't have a camera, I still could have spent time analyzing my shot. What, are you gonna tell me that I'm wrong? I'm not slow. It's just that because you see a camera, you assume automatically that that's the reason why I'm about to take my shot at this time. It just drives me nuts. Just chill out, people. Final hole of what has been an absolutely beautiful course. Fairway straight down to the clubhouse, three flags at the end, 410 meters. Let's give it a rip. Well, that sucks a bit. Didn't press record, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> the final hole as well. What an idiot. It's a picturesque hole. It's downhill. Tee shot went past the bunkers on the right. As you can see there, let's get a good approach shot in here. Let's leave this course with Birdie and I'll give my analysis on the course and I'll rate it and, and I recommend, if I do, for you guys to come and check it out because I think it's been pretty awesome. If you do like this video, do like, comment, subscribe. It helps a lot. I managed to surpass a thousand subscribers, which trust me, it's harder than you think. Let's go on to the next shot. I'm in the bunker, guys, and I've got this big lip in front of me. So I'm gonna try and get this ball above the lip and onto the fairway. Perfect. We're good. All right. So I landed short there. I'm gonna go and put my uh, camera behind the flag. I might putt this. This time I might actually putt it. Okay, now I'm chipping it. I'm chipping it, all right, here we go. And that's why I didn't want to chip it. That is exactly why I didn't want to chip it. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, we're good. To finish the round. <sighs> Terrible. Oh man. Oh guys, come on, what's my score? Can't have been great. It is what it is. Really enjoyed it. That was the hole that I hold out on the Ninth, really, really beautiful course. Um, you have to factor that we're just coming out of a long winter and the conditions here are immaculate. The greens are probably the best greens I've played on in a very, very long time. And that's always helpful. First of all, the course is absolutely stunning. Conditions are perfect, like I said before, from start to finish. You know, even starting from the booking it and the hospitality and everything else that I've got from the, um, the guys at reception, really really has been helpful the weather was rainy we had rain then it was stopping then it was spitting then it was stopping then it was windy and it's it was intermittent but the sun was trying to peep through but that's golf you know you're playing an outdoor game you've got to deal with it but i really like this course to play here it's 100 euros for a guest which for what you get and some of the courses i play in other parts of germany or parts of europe is definitely worth it so yeah, I've had a great time and I'll be back here again. Bit of a drive from where I live in Cologne. But nevertheless, with weather like these golf courses are going to pack out. So hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, do like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.